Yeah, as an amateur, uh, I had to do two years in A class, um, and I podiumed both years in both uh, pro sport classes. So uh, I, I was a pretty solid amateur guy, uh, top three in, in, in both uh, in both classes. So then I got a ride with Motorsport Outlet, which was a Kawasaki team, and uh, you know. I wish I could say I was ready, um, but maybe not to the full extent as far as training and stuff. My riding ability has always been been there, but um, I just kind of always, you know, had some tough breaks, and you know, and sometimes equipment wasn't up to par, and it just it just made it tough, um, you know. And then it breaks down a rider mentally, and you know. So I definitely had a few bad years as a as a rookie, and um, you know, now I'm finally starting to crawl out of there where I should have been a, a long time ago. So we'll see. Yeah, it was tough because I, I grew up with guys Tickle, Stroop, Izzy, Kennard, and you know, and to see those guys excel to you know the top level of the sport, and then I'm battling in 15th place. It was it was real defeating for me. And yeah, there was times I wanted to quit, and you know, but it's just I always felt like this is what I should be doing. And and now I was lucky enough to get a chance with the NFAB Ty Loop St. Lawrence Radiology team, and I finally can show what I can do on a consistent program and you know, be a top 10 guy. I, I, I went over and rode for Monster Energy Kawasaki over in Australia, and man, I had, I had a, a blast of a time. I was there for eight months. I met a lot of awesome people I consider family, and I kind of wish I was still over there. I had an opportunity to go back, but I had uh, some visa problems as I was leaving. I was over there on a sporting, sporting visa, and uh, I was actually there on a touring visa, and when I went to go through immigration on my way back, they. Uh, put a red stamp on my passport and said I wasn't, wasn't allowed back for three years. So it's kind of a bummer. I had a deal to go back and I was really looking forward to it and seeing all my friends again. And um, that just left me in a bind for 2012. And yeah, that was probably one of the lowest points in my career. <laughs> I, I knew it was gonna hurt me. You know, I, it, it's hard because flashes of brilliance here and there don't really do you anything. You, you know, yeah. You get some coverage and stuff like that, but for team managers and sponsors and stuff like that, it's it's hard. So, um, but like I said, I, I was very fortunate to uh, get these guys to pick me up, and I'm glad I'm. I think I'm happy I'm delivering them results, and you know I'm glad I'm glad I am because the team works hard, and you know I work hard, and you know this is what we want. Uh, yeah, it's uh, St. Lawrence Radiology, Dr. Moreska and his family, and. Uh, they're more, they're not just a sponsor anymore, you know, they're, they're family friends and, uh, you know, my sister goes up to school by them, she house sits for them and uh, they're just great people, you know, they're, you know, Dr. Moreski, he's an enthusiast of the sport, he loves it, you know, his son uh, drives cars and, uh, you know, it's good to have people like that, you know, outside the industry, you know, besides energy drink sponsors and stuff like that and I'm just happy he stuck with me throughout the years and I'm just pumped. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, I, and I, the first eight weeks of Supercross, the first eight races were it wasn't me. I don't know what was going on, but I, you know, I even told the team, like, man, you, if you guys want to fire me, you know, I, I don't blame you. I wasn't delivering for them, and I felt bad. And I use that to this day as motivation because I don't want to go back to that where I was at. I just, I, I don't know what was going on with me mentally. You know, physically, I was okay, but. I don't know if I was quite ready for 450 Supercross at that point in time because I really didn't have a lights career in Supercross. I, I maybe raced a total of 13 races. So um, to jump in the 450 class, the premier season, the most stacked it's ever been was, you know, <laughs> kind of like a bullet to the head. So, but all in all, it's turned out to be a pretty great season so far and I'm happy. Uh, I mean, for me being realistic, one through five is gonna be super tough. You know, uh, I'm a realist and I'd like to be five through 10 every weekend. Um, that, that's my goal and that's where I wanna be this year. And um, you know, I feel I can, I can be there. So anything outside the top 12, it's, you know, it's, it's not doing nothing for me anymore. So uh, just keep plugging away, getting some top 10s and we'll see. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've I've heard bad things just from you know famous riders riding them and then leaving, switching to other teams and, and stuff like that. But for me, I've ridden quite a bit of different bikes, so it's to me, it's it's nothing bad. I I love my Yamaha, and it's honestly one of the greatest and most fast bikes I've ever ridden. So uh, as as far as pure horsepower, my Yamaha is great, and we did some handling stuff to it, make it way better, and it's it, honestly a great bike for me.